Hello everybody, welcome back. It is Sunday, June 11th, 2023. Here's the next update for the window boxes. As you can see from the last video, a lot of the growth that was going up the windows has finally spilled over, except for here to the right, it's just a little bit still hanging on. All the growth is really starting to leg out now, as you can see. Within the next probably two weeks, I'm gonna to have to start trimming these hedges back or cutting back some of the growth, maybe make it look a little more even. I might try doing that this year instead. Uh, other than that, just been giving it water and fertilizer, water and fertilizer through the fertilizer injector. It's going very good so far. This week is coming up here this next week of June, we're finally getting temperatures into the mid to high 80s for the first time this year, just consistently. So I'm gonna have to start cranking up the watering, cranking up the fertilizing as well. And I'm gonna see just how nice I can get them as it gets closer to 4th of July. I'm gonna crank up the fertilizer even more because it's gonna want it. Uh, so now we'll go over here to the railings which I think the railings might look the best out of all of them because they're growing, at least they're both complementing each other. They pretty much grow the same. First thing you might notice is how nice the black cherries are starting to come in. And it's a completely different, you know, color palette. You have these light pastel colors and then the red definitely breaks it up. Maybe next year I'll probably just pick all the same type of colors, but still nonetheless, looking nice come up here up top I have not been noticing any damage from insects but I've seen some insects on them so I'm gonna have to start you know doing some research finding out what sprays to get so I can spray them down I want to make sure I avoid any of the, uh, the the moths that lay their eggs and then you have these worms that will just pretty much tear up all the flowers. And again, I trimmed these back, you might remember, about a week ago and they've already been growing back. So, they're looking really nice. They're looking right at the sun. They're really big, I mean, they're really mounding up nicely. And the windows here, they're just looking crazy when you look at it. I mean, they're going, they're trying to touch the top of the window. <laughs> Let's, uh, we'll go down there and check those out really quick. What's also nice is we haven't had any rain in probably six days. And because of that, there's no rain damage to the flowers. It's recovered. I can see that the top is starting to fall forward. What's nice also about these, um, different from last year, is both boxes have a family of birds in them. So once in a while you hear a bunch of little baby birds chirping, which is gonna be hard because I don't wanna disturb them. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to go around and do too much to them. Hopefully they'll grow up and get out of there soon. <laughs> but in the meantime, just gonna keep watering and watering. I noticed that there is one problem here with this black cherry. It's just not able to, it's just really not able to keep up with the rest of the plant. So the box is still exposed, but then you look at the bubble gum, keep in mind, there's only one bubble gum in this box. I've really never seen the bubble gum grow this crazy, but for some reason in this box, it's just overpowering everything. You could see some of the blue skies, but that's just one bubble gum in a three foot box. You would think it's two, but and look how much of it is going up the window. All the bubble gum going up the window. Over here, at least you have some of the blue skies, you know, breaking up that, that dominance of the bubble gum. And then over here, it almost looks like there's nothing but bubble gum. So again though, nonetheless looking nice. It's gonna start getting hot out. They're gonna want more water. So we'll be giving them more water. Don't worry about that. <laughs> All 
I would say the black cherry here looks the best. Probably one of the reasons why is, is because it's right on the edge. So I could just freely grow this way. They're almost starting to touch each other here as well, which is cool to see. Basically the two boxes seem like they're gonna connect with each other. But yeah, everything is just, kind of, wow, look at those. It's just, those are just monsters. And again, not, I'm not trying to touch anything. It's kind of letting it do what it wants to do. Only thing I'm gonna do is trim it back and spray for insects and, or fungus. I have not purchased any of the spray yet or any of the treatments, but I'm gonna start researching, make sure I get the right ones. And uh, we'll see how it goes. So anyway, just to just be a quick update. Um, hope you enjoy. Tune in next time.